going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel today something a little bit different uh had a little bit of a busier day yesterday so i didn't have time to record what i wanted to record however i put together a nice little mashup of my experience going into turn one on f1 2021 online this game is so much fun it's very unpredictable when you get into these online lobbies and they will test you mentally and uh verbally sometimes right especially if somebody goes into the back of you uh, just like I did to that gentleman on turn one. However, um, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just it's harder said than done. You, know, you overshoot the braking mark, especially when you're just kind of gaining for position on that first turn. But, you know, obviously, um, you know, the more you warm up, the better you get in and ready into these. Now, some of these sessions are just the short runs, the five laps. So you're really trying to get aggressive with people. You're trying to overtake people and in turn, trying to maybe, you know, not let it happen to yourself as well, too. So the lobbies are fun, but they're really competitive sometimes and I've been really enjoying these these last few nights I don't know if you guys have seen me online been kind of moving towards the PC uh, just because of the fact that there's way more people playing on F1 2021 right now on the Xbox side of things it's very tough uh, to find a full lobby of drivers out there and right there we had a little collision people weren't really understanding and then he went into me for some reason and then they just kind of went off on the mic a little bit and then it ended actually really Oh, that's not the point. The point is that you do it before because you do it in I front of the breaking the point. DRS detection. I I couldn't react that. I couldn't react to that. No, you weren't supposed. To, I didn't think you were behind me. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay, then it, it was an accident. But yeah, my bad though. I apologize. That was my fault. Yeah, no worries. Good, good. Next up, Saudi Arabia, uh, another online session, five lap, where we had 14 drivers qualified P4 for this. Now some of them, uh, you know, they really won't even qualify with you. So they're just kind of, you know, not even doing anything to make sure that they start the back of the pack. However, some of these races I am qualifying, trying to get in front just to kind of get that experience, uh, you know, trying to battle it. It's very intense being at the front. You need to know your lines. You need to know your breaking points. Uh, we have another one here on Bahrain. Uh, one shot qualifiers, usually, like I said, you don't get a lot of people that will actually do the qualifying. So sometimes you kind of start in the front. This one here, P14 on the grid. So it's just absolute carnage sometimes. Times, but that's the whole fun of it. That's the adrenaline that kicks in on these races for me at least. That is why I'm so addicted to F1 2021 is the start of these races. There is nothing more exciting than watching those few lights count up and then go out for the green. And you're just off, you're flying, trying to get to that first corner. Nothing better than me right now. I've been really enjoying the online racing side of things. Uh, not more or less the offline side of things, right? I mean, I did like the whole single player story with the breaking point. Um, but, you know, the actual AI racing is tough, you know, it's it's very unforgiving, if you will. That's why I like these online races, especially when you can kind of gauge your own level of performance. You can go into your beginner lobbies where you don't have to worry about collisions. If you do want to do that, there is an expert lobby for those beginners um, that does have collisions with a little bit more medium pace. And then you can get into the rank side of things, which I do believe is what I'm doing right here, um, which is, you know, collisions are always on, you have your five laps out there. And guys are more or less trying to go for the win than usual. And obviously, um, you know, it was fun on the wheel. But I think the biggest thing to point out is my view at the moment. I'm racing in third person. Some of you guys may think it's crazy. Like, what are you doing? Now, I've heard some of the best drivers in the world prefer third person when they are racing on games. I mean, I mean, it's, it's just a, such a hard thing to say. It really does depend on your preference of driving. Sometimes, you know, people don't like third person whatsoever. I found that I was a little bit faster in third person. Don't ask me why. I mean, oh yeah, that was a bad one. That was a, that was a bad one there. Um, not proud of that one whatsoever. Sometimes they happen, right? You just, you, it's F1, right? The cars are so fragile. You take a bump and that's it. So, right, that's why I'm doing these. I like to just try to, you know, try to get better as these go on. Some of these, I just have a nice little beverage beside me, enjoying the time that I am playing F1 2021. Another one here, we're going to Australia for this one. Uh, Red Bull Ring, if I'm not mistaken. And this one, again, like I said, the starts are the most exhilarating part. This is why I love it. I don't, I don't really personally enjoy the longer laps as of right now because for me as a driver I'm still trying to learn these tracks to the best of my knowledge for these fast-paced races man driving like that right now this was a really tough situation you guys see me right there kind of get wedged in couldn't really do very much I think I did a pretty good job just making sure I didn't cause any damage to my car 
I don't think I caused anyone else any damage, but uh, right, sometimes people get really aggressive and you really don't know what to expect on these online races. So sometimes you have to expect the unexpected, and that's another part of these races that I really truly enjoy. It's just it's one big arcade level style driving setup, and people um, sometimes are reckless, sometimes you get really good battles, and that is the name of the game. It's a gamble sometimes especially for these just random online F1 races. Now, if there is enough people that are playing F1 online, I uh, would love to host a lobby or a session or anything like that, so let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I am seeing a very consistent setup of me running into the back of people on these starts, so I'm going to try to just be a little bit more cleaner, um, a little bit more kind of easier on the brakes and a little bit more forceful, I feel like, as well, too. I think I didn't have anything tuned or just using base stock settings, which I'm maybe you know everyone else is. I don't really know, but um, another one here. Oh, we're in France, Paul Ricard. That's right. Okay, we got five lights going up here. We're in P10 for the start of this one 13 laps. So, this is an experienced lobby, uh, could be non ranked. I don't think this is a ranked setup, right? 13 laps, though, it's not a fast one by any means, and you don't want to get taken out on those first few corners, and that was another reason why I like this third person camera, is that it was just, it was so easy to look around at everybody, and I mean, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like the force feedback genuinely feels better in third person view, I mean, I, mean, I don't know, is that just me or not, let me know in the comment section, we took a hard tire smack on there, smacked me around, rotated me completely, I stayed in, by actually staying in the race, all the way up to lap 11 here and i caught up to the pace car after all of that spun around finally got up to these guys as the pace car was rolling in and overshot the last quarter so i kind of lost all my momentum going into there and then these guys just kind of took off on unfortunately but i uh, definitely enjoy these that's the end of the game right i mean i just enjoy racing on these f1 online lobbies there's nothing White that really is doing it for me other than F1 at the moment. I mean, iRacing's fun, but it's it's sometimes a little bit too sweaty. Now this one, right? Oh my goodness, man. I cannot believe I did not get taken out on that. Unfortunately, I don't have replays on any of these. I wish I did. Driver of the day on this race right here for myself. I was pretty happy, and I had the McLaren suit on too, representing out there. Uh, we have another one here coming from Australia. Red Bull ring once again, sitting in P4 for a five lapper with collisions on. Traction control is on medium. Driving line is on with uh, manual with the suggested gearbox. Now, obviously uh, for me, Formula One has been kind of really brand new in terms of competitive racing. So the gearbox has really helped me a lot in knowing where to be at in these corners per gear and then getting out of it as fast as I can. So I think manual suggested, if you guys are kind of struggling on, you know, I'm trying to get quicker on Formula 1, put on the suggested gearbox, and I think it will change the way you drive a lot. You'll see where you need to be in terms of speed on those corners. That man just ate it on there. Now, it was running with traction control completely off, seemed like. Um, I may be doing the same as well, too, next lobby. It's just it's so tough because if you're just an ounce off of that pedal, just right, you're gone. You put a little bit too much force, that rear end comes right out on you. And sometimes it's just, it's so tough. So, I mean, that's why I've really been liking the medium traction. And uh, I felt like I had a pretty good race on here. For P2 at the moment with have no mic. I have no mic. Is there an eye in there? I don't think there is. Just have have no mic. And we ran a pretty good Ray, right? It <laughs> got a little bit sketchy. I hate those moments when you're sitting there and you see it come out. You're like, please, please come back. And if it does it, well, right, you're screwed. Right, now, this got a little bit wild here at the end. Uh, lap four coming around with P2 still on podium here. Now, we have this man fighting me pretty hard on the inside of the track there for that one. That's going to be Nero. And uh, he's going to probably end up causing the same thing at the end. I don't exactly know who causes it, but uh, we're going to find out here very, very fast. Now, it looks like it's going to happen pretty soon. This man's driving very aggressive on me. Can't really do very much. I have to take it outside. So I'm going to let him go by. Maybe he's faster. I'm going to let him run down P1. If he can catch him, maybe cause some type of commotion to slow him down, I can kind of slide in there for a nice high-level IQ play. Now, that's kind of what happens right here. Turn one on last lap. Now, he takes his very inside on him, and he forces him outside. Now, I should have went way more to the right, I got into it, I didn't let off, okay? right, and I end up hitting the grass, ended hit. up catching myself the back in, the and then here we are backwards on the track. Unfortunate series of events. But right, if you watch that back, when I got up there, if I would have gone just a little bit more around him, I may have been able to just slingshot right in the first place, but who knows though, if that kind of, that grass bump would have caught me regardless. We took a huge hop on there 
definitely wasn't the greatest, and then we hit the tire wall dead on. Had a great time though. Formula One 2021. I'm addicted to this, man. I love that turn one experience. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Something different, right? Change of pace. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with some special stuff on the channel. Make sure you guys don't miss it. Subscribe with post notifications. Slap that like button down below. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.